3 sine squared x minus sine 2x minus cos squared x is equal to 0. Right. Now, guys, if they ask you for a specific solution, you just submit, uh, you just enter various versions of, um, sorry, various integers, right, into n360. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, and 0, and see what solutions you get within the bounds that they give you. However, I'm going to show you how to do the general solution for now for this question, right? So 3 sine squared x, that remains 3 sine squared x. Sine 2x is something we can convert into minus 2 sine x cos x, okay, minus cos squared x. Now, at this point in time, people, you should be able to recognize that this is perfect square, perfect square, um, 2 times that thing over there, that thing there. This has to be some kind of quadratic equation. Uh, with the first factor being sine x and the second one being cos x. So this is going to be sine x, or rather the first term in each of that, and cos x, right? And cos x. So when you factorize this, uh, this has to be, this will likely be 3. This will be 1 because 3 times 1 gives you 3 sine squared x. And this will be cos x, and this will be um, cos x, right? One of them has to be positive, the other negative. So, uh, let's look at that. 3, this will be plus, and this will be minus, right? And then you can double check that, because if I say positive times negative, that gives me the negative over there, and cos x times cos x gives me cos squared x. Okay, this year and this year is going to give me positive 3 sine squared x, and when I look at that, that's positive 3 sine squared x, um, that's 1 sine x cos x, and this is going to be negative 3 sine x cos x, which gives me this middle term over here. So that seems to be correct. Okay, from there you can, you can solve further and you can say, okay, this has to be 3 sine x plus cos x equals 0. And this side over here is sine x minus cos x equal to 0. That's going to give you sine x is equal to cos x. Okay, and on this side, it's going to give us uh, 3 sine x equals minus cos of x. Okay, once again, at this point in time, what can you do now? You can divide both sides by sine x, I mean cos x. And that's going to give you 3 times tan x, and this is going to give you minus 1. And therefore, tan x is going to equal to negative 1 third. Okay? And now you can go and solve for this. On this side, you divide both sides by cos x and cos x, and that's going to give me tan x is equal to 1. Um, and now you go and you solve this, right? So I'm not going to show you further because this is now turning into the trivial uh, general solution type of examples. Um, same over here. This is going to be x equals 45 as your reference angle. The main point what we wanted to show you was to look at this over here and how you can simplify this, work it out, and get to a general solution. Okay. Good luck.